Hi everybody, I am Naufal and today we are going to discuss about a very interesting topic that is the important part of the research that is research process. Before going to the topic, you should know what is research. Okay? So, let's see what is research. The word research comes from two words that is re and search. Re and search. Re means again and again and search means looking for something that is again and again looking for something re and search the simple definition for research is finding answer to a question or finding solution to a problem you have a problem and you are finding solution to the problem that is called research now we can see what is the research process. Research process means from the beginning of the research till the end. That is, you are starting a journey from a starting point till the finishing point. What are the things happening? That is research process. If you are looking in some books, you will get 8 steps or 18 steps in different explanations. I will explain the research process in 11 easy steps in an understandable manner. So listen carefully. The first step is formulation of problem. First step is formulation of problem. Formulation of problem means you are identifying the problem. To conduct the research, there should be a problem you should identify. Okay, so what is a problem? A problem means at present there is no solution or it is a question there is no answer at the present through research you are trying to find a answer or you are trying to find a solution for that so the first step of the research is formulation of the problem or identification of the problem you have to identify a problem i will give you the example at present there is no curable medicine for hiv or aids so it is a problem there is no curable medicine for HIV is a problem. So you are selecting this problem as the topic of your research. Fine. So your problem is you are going to conduct a research on curable medicine for HIV and AIDS. Got it. The next step is review of literature. The second step of research process is review of literature. Review of literature means you are collecting the knowledges, different knowledges from the books, from the libraries, from the ma magazines, from the articles, from online, through internet and all. You are collecting the different knowledges of the topic that is regarding HIV and AIDS and their medicines. It will differ according to your study according to your problem i am giving the example only so you are collecting the knowledges the available knowledges you are collecting in the second step fine next step is formulating hypothesis you have to formulate the hypothesis so you should know what is hypothesis hypothesis means it is an assumption it is an assumption or expectation or an imagination of the researcher the person who is doing the research he is expecting this will be the result if i conduct this study this will be my result it may be right or it may be wrong but he is expecting the final result will be this one that is formulating hypothesis so in the third step you have to <coughs> you have to formulate the hypothesis got it the next step is selecting research design you have to select the research design research design means the overall plan of the researcher to conduct the research the overall plan of the researcher to conduct the research is called research design i will explain it in detail in next videos okay now you have to understand that it is the overall plan to carry out the entire research, the researcher should have a overall plan. While making a home, you will make a plan, no? Like that, the plan of the researcher to carry out the 
entire research is called research design next step is specifying the population you have to specify the population on which population you are going to conduct the research here we are going to conduct the research on hiv patients so our population is hiv patients okay so if you are conducting a study on students means students are your population if you are conducting a research on pregnant women means pregnant women are your population got it the next step is sample selection we know there are lakhs of hiv patients are there in our country but i have already explained in the last video regarding the sampling you have to select from these lakhs of hiv patients you have to select a 500 or 100 samples only you have to select only 100 or 500 so taking the small portion from this entire hiv patients is called sampling okay taking the small portion from the entire thing that is sampling next we can see the seventh step is ethical consideration ethical consideration means you have to conduct the research legally right so you have to take the permission you have to take the permission from the authority that is from the hospital where you are conducting the research from the college from the government if it is required you have to take the permission from the government and you should get the permission from the patients also from the AIDS patients also you should get the permission and you have to respect their rights okay you have to protect their belief and faith you should safeguard their rights that is ethical consideration then only your research will become legal otherwise your research will become illegal okay you are taking the permission from different sources as per the need fine next we can see the eighth step that is pilot study so what is mean by pilot study pilot study means it is a rough study or a small study or it is a rehearsal suppose for your college day celebration what you will do one day or two day before you will conduct a rehearsal or a screening program to identify the mistakes if there is anything to remove you have to remove and all right like that before conducting the actual research you are conducting a rehearsal or a rough study or a small study that is called pilot study once the pilot study is finished you can move to data collection data collection means you are collecting the information suppose a teacher want to collect the data from the students what the teacher will do a teacher will conduct an exam teacher will provide the question paper to the student and the students will write the answer in the answer sheet and teacher is collecting that answer sheets that is the data okay that is a data collecting information we can done by interview you can conduct a interview or through questioning or through observation also if it is a psychiatric patient you can observe them and you can collect the data if they are educated you can give the question paper that is questionnaire you can give if they are uneducated you can conduct interview also so here what we will do we are giving medicine to HIV patient no we are trying to invent a new medicine so we will observe after giving the medicine what is the effect whether it is working or not effect is there or not you have to identify no so through observation method you will collect the data through interview also you can collect the data through observation also you can collect the data through questioning also you can collect the data that also I will explain in detail in next videos the next step is after collecting the data data analysis and interpretation what is mean by data analysis after collecting the data you have to examine or you have to evaluate the data right you have to evaluate the data the teacher is evaluating the answer sheet so how much mark has secured by each student teacher can come to know like that you are evaluating the data collected that is analysis 
so what is mean by interpretation after analyzing you have to you have to arrange it in a specific manner in a orderly manner you have to arrange it in a specific manner i will give you the example the mark sheet of a student it is arranged in a it is interpreted in a specific manner theory different subjects how many marks internal assessment practical total marks it is arranged in a particular manner that is interpretation so your final result should be arranged in a particular manner that is interpretation of the data now you got the result you conducted the research you identify the problem and you got the result and you interpreted you have explained it in a very understanding manner here you only know the result so what you have to do the last and the final step is communication and utilization i have already told you only you know the result now you have to communicate your identification or what you have discovered so you have to communicate with the public how you can communicate through writing the dissertation or writing books through magazine or through writing article or publishing in the newspaper by writing method you can communicate with the public so it will reach the public such and such study has conducted and this is the result you have published or through orally through press conference and all in conferences you can publish it or through interview also you can publish your study communication is fi finished now utilization you have to utilize that study once you have communicated you have to utilize it in the hospital setting you have identified a new medicine so it should be utilized in the hospital setting then only that study has completed that then only that research is useful otherwise what is the use of conducting a research it should be utilized properly that is the final step of the research that's all about research process i think you have understood the topic okay finally if you didn't subscribe my channel please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for the further notification we will meet soon with another video till that goodbye and thank you